up everyone? I'm Vaughn Gittin Jr. Best known for being a world champion drifter, but I am also, as of last year, the reigning Ultra 4 Unlimited Class Champion. Wow, that sounds amazing to say. Uh, but we're here at King of the Hammers in beautiful Johnson Valley. Uh, this is, it's so hard to put into words what this race is and really what it means to not just the drivers, but the spectators. I mean, this is a off-road festival of racing, of enjoying being off-road, of hanging out with your friends and family. And for me, uh, something that I've been tackling and challenging myself over the past six years um, in, in search of becoming the king. Uh, you know, this, this is one of those sports, you know, I come from drifting, uh, very short stints, uh, vehicle placement is everything, uh, car control is everything. And so for me, transitioning over to this sport, um, I use a lot of the things I've learned in drift, right? Feeling the grip, uh, vehicle placement, putting the vehicle everywhere, and of course, being wide open uh, in the desert. I'm no stranger to being on the throttle. And so um, this is one of those sports, you know, to, to contrast it from what I'm used to, you know, you're out in the elements. This is, you know, over 250 miles of grueling terrain. Not just the desert, the whoops, but the rocks that you are in for hours, just beating and bouncing. And so, So not just the desert and the whoops, but the beating and bouncing through the whoops for hours. So it is a battle of you know, man, machine, and team. And may the best all three of those win. Um, you know, we're feeling very confident this year. We've put in more work than we ever have. And uh, you know, we're not only myself and Lauren are racing 4400, but we're racing the 4600 class in the new Ford Performance Built Bronco. I'm so pumped to be here. There is more people here than I've ever seen on Monday before the race. So it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. But uh, it was a rough one. Uh, talk about the guys from Baja Jerky. I mean, uh, they
Hey, Cameron Steele here, racing the 2022 King of the Hammers. I love the challenge of King of the Hammers, and I think racing every single class gives you a different look and style to the race course. And actually, what I think is we're trying to win the big race, the 4400 race, which is the final one, but racing everything leading up to it just gives me more training. I raced the T1 truck, I'm on 40 inch tires. I'm gonna be racing 40 inch tires later. I raced the EMC race. It teaches me to go through the same exact race course that I'm gonna go through uh, on the 4400 race and the same with the Can-Am. So I think just more time, more experience. And uh, I love every class. I, I've grown to love the rocks. It's uh, only been a few years, but I kind of feel like I've become one of the crew here in the rocks. The most demanding part of KOH for me is and I think for everybody, maybe they don't realize it is getting your equipment to the finish line because you put on this race suit and you're a racer, you want to go fast. And for me, I realized that we still need to go fast and be quick, but you got to get to the finish line. And when you're racing through all these rocks and you're smashing into stuff, leaning into it, laying over, you're, you're in the undercut and you're, and you're reefing on your, on your drivetrain, it's really important to remember that, hey, it's not just this trail, it's every trail I have to go through to get to the end of this. King of the Hammers is different from anything else that I've raced or been around. And you gotta remember, I've announced and commentated at, at all different types of racing, whether it's IndyCar, Champ Car, I've been to X Games, I did Supercross, uh, done su surf stuff. It's unique because it has this flavor of all these different categories coming together where everybody has like this energy that is driving it forward. So even if someone's here for the hammers race the proper 4400 they love the trophy truck race or the t1 race and if you're a utv guy you still have excitement for the other classes and it's all types of people coming together and it's it's really like the burning man of off-road it's a giant festival i mean there's a hundred thousand people in the desert loving off-road racing and making dust how cool is that
Hey, what's up? Bryce Menzies here at King of the Hammers. Yeah, super excited. I love this race uh, coming out to King of the Hammers. Third year, um, trying to go for that three-peat. This course this year, it seems like they took out a lot of like the slow technical stuff. With this course being more kind of wide open, it kind of changes my game plan from uh, where it was technical, you had to be very smart, very uh, precise with your vehicle. Where this one, it seems like we're gonna have to charge a little bit harder. We're gonna have to push a little bit more just because it's so fast, so wide open where you don't have those times to relax, kind of figure out some stuff. So um, I think it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to run the pace with everybody, but uh, it'll be that much more fun. Came out here the very first year that they did the T1 race and I fell in love with this place. I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing about the rocks um, and coming out here, seeing the vibe, the people, the environment, Everybody just loves off-road, helping each other out. Just the landscape and the terrain, it's one of my favorite races just because it changes so much. You don't just race through the desert, you have rocks, you have cliffs, you have uh, wide open sections. So it kind of gives you a variety of every type of terrain in one race. So that's why uh, I think it keeps us coming back. The vibe of everybody out here just having a blast and um, you know, a week and a half of type of racing. So it's, uh, it's right where I wanna be. Uh, it was a really good day, had no problems. Uh, kind of was by myself all day trying to chase chase down the guys in front of me, but uh, I'm really happy with second. Polaris Razor Pro R was awesome. Uh, finally had a nice clean race in it. And you know, it's the new model, we're really excited. It, and I think it shows now today uh, what we did in it. Last year's course compared to this year's, what are your thoughts on the differences? Uh, I didn't do the desert race last year, but from the rocks, uh, it's pretty rough this year. There's a, there's a lot of rocks out there, uh, and it's just getting so torn up. I can't imagine uh, Thursday, the rock race, when I'm out there because we have trophy trucks hitting the course uh, tomorrow. So it's going to be gnarly out there, especially uh, in the coming days, but today, is, today was gnarly out there as well. Who do you have to thank to uh, get you up here on the podium? Uh, first off, I have to thank our whole crew of guys from Polaris. Um, everyone that helps me out, uh, it's been, you know, everyone knows for King of the Hammers, it's a wild ride getting ready. We decided to do this race kind of last minute. So we brought two cars out for, for the race, for the races this week, which was a lot of work. We were still working on things up until yesterday. Uh, big thank you to all the people that help us out in the pits, uh, family, friends, the Polaris engineers over here, all the guys, uh, Polaris for the awesome platform for us to race in, Red Bull. Uh, BF Goodrich Tires, they held up amazing, especially on this rocky course. KMC Wheels, Four Wheel Parts, uh, Sparco, VP Fuels, um, whoever I'm forgetting, sorry, but thank you everyone. Well, congratulations and have a good evening tonight, and uh, we'll see you uh, in a few days back out on I course. To, oh. I have to throw in one more that I did forget, Walker Evans Racing for the awesome shocks. It was brutal out there. And I have to thank uh, especially Brian from Walker Evans for all the hard work to get us here.